today, guys, we're part of something very special. We're part of a movement where investors are, are now empowering themselves and taking back control from a largely rigged system of insiders and institutions. Today's been a long time coming. We've been working diligently on rolling out AI for finance that will revolutionize the way that retail investors interact with markets and manage their portfolios in a more effective and automated way. From day one, guys, our mission has always been to democratize access to tools and to technology that's been moted away from retail investors behind walled gardens on Wall Street. And so 2024 is truly the hockey stick year for Trade Algo. We've set very lofty goals this year. Tesla has built the self-driving car and we are building self-driving money. And that's where this is all headed. So today marks a crucial leap in that direction. I wanna ask everybody here to hop in the driver's seat of that self-driving car, help Trade Algo realize this vision by participating in our beta launch of our Trade GPT financial language learning model. We're gonna be demonstrating just a fraction of the power of Trade GPT here in the webinar. And then I want you guys to go use it and test it and try to stump it. And uh, frankly, you might right now, right? Because this is the, uh, the beta product. Uh, in other words, this is pre-release. So we're in the fine tuning stage. Uh, think maybe, I don't know if, I'm sure a lot of you guys have used ChatGPT already, OpenAI, $90 billion company, massively successful product, very, very useful. Think about ChatGPT in like 2020 before you knew it existed. That's kind of where we are right now. Uh, but why did we build TradeGPT? Well, it's pretty simple. In 2023, Forbes asked thousands of people what they believe the most popular AI use cases would be. And as you can see right there on the screen, hopefully, I know some of you guys have a white screen. Try refreshing. I think most people can see. But uh, right behind responding to people via text or email, the second most popular answer uh, that people told Forbes for, for uh how they plan to use AI was to answer financial questions. And so being that chat GPT from OpenAI largely solves a lot of the problems on the screen, uh, we've been hard at work addressing the financial piece. And as many of you know, and you'll, you'll see in the demonstration here in a moment, chat GPT can do a lot of the listed applications, but it cannot answer financial questions. Why is that? Well, it's a lack of real-time data. Clearly, Trade Algo, we are in a unique position to fill this void because the primary constraint for ChatGPT is their inability to incorporate real time data fluidly. And also, when it comes to having an extensive reservoir of historical data and exotic financial data, they fall short in comparison to a specialized platform like ours. So, we're combining the effectiveness of ChatGPT with the accuracy of a Bloomberg terminal for maximum results. And ultimately, that creates the ideal robo advisor personal assistant, and that is TradeGPT. It is a state of the art language learning model that ingests real time data to provide actionable insights for portfolio management, for trading, for risk mitigation. The implications of this are actually not even all known, even by us, but the core features right now and the core use cases include historical analysis, trend prediction, asset allocation recommendations, risk assessment, data aggregation, education. We're gonna get into some of those examples right now. I know everyone is here to get their beta access to trade G uh, GPT, excuse me, so I'm not gonna delay any further or else I might butcher the name again. But I wanna encourage you guys to stick around because at the end, based on the response to some of our polls, I'm actually gonna put up another poll right now before I hand it off to Luke. Um, I just wanna know, do you guys want to grow your money on autopilot? But based on the, the results of the, uh, of the polls uh, that we're posting, I might dive a little bit further into our Midas AI auto trading engine and some of the automated trading that we are layering into the Trade Algo stack in the short and long term, and some of the various opportunities to participate in Midas and in our pre-IPO. Uh, if there's interest in that, we can definitely get into it. Uh, but with that being said, why don't we go ahead and do some examples with Trade GPT so that you guys can get to know our robo, robo advisory a little bit. And then I'll hop back in and if we have time, we'll go through some of that other exciting stuff. Yeah, thank you so much, John. Very much appreciate that, guys. I'm gonna take over and share 
my screen. So everyone should be able to see, how can I help you today from Trade Algo? This is the 50 million uh, financial data parameter language model we have built out that goes through and answers instantaneous questions about financial markets in real time. So um, like an example of a question, that I asked it even earlier today. This is a, a screenshot that I took. I'll do some live questions here. But basically I just said, hey, are there any trades I should consider today based on current news and market trends? So TradeGPT then goes through and it says, hey, pay attention to these, the energy sector, especially oil, pay attention to the biotech sector, and then especially the Walt Disney Company. So now it's gone through 50 million financial data points, thousands of stocks, all options available, every single thing that I need to know, I have my actionable moves for the day. Um, actually ended up doing, I didn't take a screenshot of it, I should have. I made a smaller trade on a um, oil ETF and I made a quick 25%, boom, just like that. Actually, Walt Disney contracts ended up moving over 100%. However, it gives me very actionable things that I can take advantage of just by instantaneously gaining an answer. If you want it to be more specific, then you can just be more specific. You could say, you know, hey, what are, uh, you know, I'm trading Apple. What are the best options to take on Apple? Be specific. And it'll say, hey, here's a few highlighted contracts. You know, you can take the Apple call option with a strike price of $200 and implied volatility of 26%. The premium is 20 cents. So it'll go through and it'll give you a very, actionable thing to do. The broader you are with your questions, the broader the answer will be. The more succinct you are with your questions or specific, the more specific it will be. However, this is an example from, this is a, a photo I took, uh, this would have been on Monday, I believe. I just did a quick trade. I went ahead and said, okay, well, I guess I'm going to go ahead and go do that Apple $200 call option. Ended up hopping out with a nice like 78% return. It is the next step in helping people put their money on autopilot. So no sitting in front of the computer all day, no worried about when I should take the trade or when I should enter into the trade or when I should X, Y, Z. Hey, what's the best trade to take right now in Apple? Build me out a call option. Great. Do the $200 20 cent premium. Easy as that. You can go in here and ask it anything. Well, the reason I'm saying you can be as broad as possible or you can be as specific as possible is I could go in here. Maybe I don't know anything about investing, maybe I'm just, you know, new to the scene, not quite sure what to do. And I could say, you know, I have $250,000 to invest, build me a, let's do a conservative portfolio that yields four to 6% annually. So be sure to zoom in there, Luke, real quick. Sorry oh, to yeah, thank you, actually. There we go. So now you can see that it is going to be building me out a portfolio in real time, telling me, okay, you have $250,000 to invest. You can do 150,000 of it and fixed in some securities. Here's where you'll put it into treasury bonds, corporate bonds. Okay, now you're gonna do dividend paying stocks. You're gonna do 10% of utilities, 10% in healthcare. Here's what you're gonna do in REITs. Boom, instantaneous answer. Super, super quick, super easy. Now I can go in, and I can go through and I can ask it more specific questions, right? This is a little bit more of a broad question. So it's going to tell me, you know, U.S. Treasury bonds. Maybe I still don't know what I'm talking about. And I could ask more specific. You could see, would you like for me to find, find some specific ETFs or bonds that fit these categories? Yes, please find some specific ETFs. And then it will go through and it will give me exactly what I've asked for. So then I can take more actionable steps towards creating that portfolio. Someone says, I wanna see the difference between chat and trade GPT. Yeah, I, we're actually gonna go through chat GPT on this presentation, but go for it. You can go ask chat GPT this exact same question. You can go ask it any question about financial markets. It's not gonna be able to give you the answer. They're a great company, they're phenomenal. I use chat GPT all the time. However, they have no financial database and they have no information up to real time dates. So I could go through and I could ask, hey, you know, what is the current price of the SPY and what is the best option to trade on it that has a zero DTE expiration? And it'll give me an instantaneous answer. So now it's saying based on the criteria for your conservative portfolio, I now have actionable tickers. I can go trade AGG, BND, MUB, VIG, SDY. I have everything I need, XLU, and I know exactly how to structure my portfolio where I can be annually getting a conservative four to 6% a year based on 50 million data financial points 30 years of back-tested stock market history. There you go, right? Can you do this with a small account, says Mark? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I just put in 250,000. You can put in a thousand bucks. You can put in a million bucks. It, it was just a, a round number basically that I thought of to ask. So 
there you go. I've created an entire portfolio for myself. I don't know anything about financial markets. However, I have all these actionable steps to take. And there we go. I can get my four to 6% annually. I could even go in and ask it much more specific questions. So if I want a specific result from something, I could say, hey, what will ACI, which is Albertsons, this is a screenshot I took, what will ACI shareholders get per share if the KR buyout is complete? So this is Albertsons potentially uh, acquiring Kroger. So you could see the, uh, you know, they'll be getting 34 set or $34 per share. However, the stock, or I'm sorry, excuse me, ACI shareholders are set to get $27 per share. This is based on the agreed upon $34 per share with 6.85 per share already having been paid out as a dividend. So I get all of the information that I need. I can take it even a step further and I can say, you know, ACI is an example of one company trading at a discount price. I'm sure you can find other stocks that are trading at a discount to its pending buying price. So I can be a lot more specific. And then I have INPX, MMAT, AULT. I actually asked this question about 10 days ago. INPX went up 150% after I asked it the question. AULT went up about 50%. I believe MMAT was up 20 or 30%. There you go. So the tool is built for it doesn't matter if you know you are brand new to financial markets or if you're the president of business advisory at BlackRock or JP Morgan. Artificial intelligence works a million times faster than the human eye and brain. Again, 50 million financial data points. The human eye and brain can maybe go through one or two at a time, and it would be able to do that every minute. AI can go through 50 million in less than a millisecond speed. So as we look forward into the future, people's money gets to be kind of put on autopilot. We actually are also applying for a broker dealer license, which would allow us to then have people be able to plug in their own brokerage accounts. So instead of, you know, if I ask it this question, I have 250,000 to invest, build me a conservative portfolio. Instead of just getting the answers and then going and doing it on my own, there could potentially be a button at the bottom that just says, would you like to execute the orders? You click execute and then it plugs into your brokerage. It does all the trades for you and you are pretty much scot-free. So this is the new wave and this is the new evolution of how people will invest moving forward into the future. It is a very, very exciting time to be investing. It's a very exciting time to be in actually in the retail side of the equation for the first time in history. It used to be a very daunting task if you were a retail investor. It used to be a very scary task. Most people just left their money in their 401k plans and hope that someone managed it correctly and that it was worth more by the time they retired. Now with Trade GPT and even uh, like John said, we might be covering Midas AI a little bit as well, we're finally putting power back in the hands of the people. So that way, thanks to AI, now they can finally start to compete with larger institutions and big banks and hedge funds who have had access to better data, better data, higher quality data, and faster data for, for, for decades and decades. But now the playing field is starting to get way more leveled out. So it's extraordinarily exciting. Now, you can also go, I mean, the market's not open right now, so it wouldn't be totally prevalent to go through and look at it. However, you could see that um, this is an example from a question I asked it earlier. If I asked it right now, obviously the options market is closed. I mean, I could still do it. But a question I asked it earlier is I said, hey, you know, give me a zero DTE. That means days tell expiration. And if you're not familiar with options, it's okay. It's not a big deal. Give me basically an options trade for the SPY. I want the premium to be under $1. I don't want some expensive contract. Great. Here are some zero days till expiration options for the SPY with premiums under a buck. You can do the call option with a strike price of 498, 499, or 500, right? Here's your implied volatilities. Here's the percent chance of it being successful. It gives you everything you need to do. Very actionable orders. So you can even go through and ask it um, things like, hey, you know, if there's going to be a potential, uh, if there's a potential war breakout, uh, you know, on the other side of the world in another hemisphere, you know, what are some investment strategies that can be used to capitalize on those situations? And it'll say, here's some good defense stocks. Here's some good maybe healthcare stocks, because those typically rise during war times too. So it goes through all the socioeconomic factors. It goes through all the political factors. It goes through all sentiment factors. It's geared to search through like Twitter and other social sentiment scores to see what other people are talking about online. It goes through all financial transactions that are happening, real-time orders, and it can do it all for you at lightning speed. So again, the next step in automating processes for the investor. I do see that there are some questions coming through. I want to answer a couple of these actually before I pass it back over to John. Um, 
Donna says, do you have to type your questions or can you talk to it? Right now in its current iteration as the beta, you do have to type in the question. However, we uh, plan on and intend on adding an ability where you can have like a little microphone and you can just say, you know, hey, I have 250,000 to invest, build me a conservative portfolio and it'll just, it'll type it in for you. At its current iteration though, yes, you do have to type it out. Cynthia says, can you start off with small amounts, like $500 or less? Um, well, you're not actually, so we don't function as a, a broker dealer right now. We've applied for the licensing of it. However, you're not investing th into trade GPT, if that makes sense. You're getting all the answers that can help your investments. However, you're not actually putting the investments in there to begin with, if that makes sense. Um, Yushan says, put option with the, the implied volatility. Put option with strike price of 410, 140. To be quite honest, partner, I'm not totally sure what you're asking by that. I'm happy to answer your question. I just don't really understand what you're asking by that. What is the minimum buy-in for trade algo shares? Yeah, for people who are interested in a pre-IPO, we're, we're wrapping up our third round of funding right now, which is super exciting. We, we intend to take this one day to a hopeful uh, IPO, ring in the bell, publicly traded offer. We've reserved actually a stock ticker with the New York Stock Exchange, which is pretty cool. But we, we can maybe get into that a little bit later. We'll be happy to reach out to you directly, Jeff, and talk to you a little bit more about it. Um, is it mobile phone ready, says Troy. Uh, we are currently right now, building out the app to put on the app store. So the hope is to get it out within about the next 60 days. It's already very mobile friendly on your cell phone, but the actual app, the application should be ready here in just about the next two months. Remember, this is the beta version. So you guys as VIP members, which means you're either a member of Trade Algo or your investor, or hopefully you're both, you guys have access to this before everyone else does. We'll do a much more grandiose full-scale launch here in the next two to three weeks. What we do ask for you guys right here, right now, we're going to get everyone set up with their Trade GPT account. This is a beta. So it is 90 2% ready to get fully launched. However, you can help us with the rest of the 8%. Let's say for some reason you ask it a question and you don't like the answer that it gives or you think it's a little bit off. The AI is still in the process of being completely and fully trained for the full scale launch. So for some reason, when you're using Trade GPT and you think the answer is just slightly what you or you would like for it to be something different, you'll see right here the thumbs up and the thumbs down button. For every response you get that you like, click that it's a good response and just submit the feedback. If for some reason the response, you think it could be a little bit better, just say, what do you not like about the response? It goes immediately back to our engineering team in Singapore. It also helps us train the AI better. It creates a better product for you so you can you know, uh, much quicker and much quicker put your money on autopilot with Trade GPT. So the more feedback we get, the better the AI gets, which is a huge benefit for you and everyone else who will be using it. So make sure that you do use those buttons. Someone says, can you ask which best Forex pairs and directions? Yes, Denise. So right now in its current state and status, it's worth uh, 50 million data points, which means it does all United States markets and investing, bonds, stocks, ETFs, um, uh, you know, REITs, uh, it, options, anything. It also does foreign exchange as well. Part of what we're raising funds to do is hopefully to get that from 50 million to 1 billion financial data parameters. So that way we can also, of course, be expanding into like Euronext, European markets, be expanding into East Asian markets with the data, even smaller markets like Bombay and Toronto, all the way around the world. So that way, instead of just being able to service over 200 million potential investors in the United States, there's billions worldwide. So that way we can become a much larger, massive global enterprise. So that's going to be very exciting too. Someone says, let's see, Dennis says, there seems to be a connectivity issue. Tried three times. Oh, okay. Yeah, you could try refreshing your browser. Old IT trick, try turning it off and on again. But other than that, don't know how to help your partner. Can you save the questions you asked Trade GPT? Yes, great question. All of the questions that you asked will be saved over here on the left-hand side. Like you could see all of the all of the prompts that I've been asking it, and this is actually a company account, so anyone from the company's been asking it over the past couple of days. What you can also do is you can go up here. Actually, let's do this. You can go up here to the top right-hand corner, and if you have like an investing group or you know people that you typically like to trade with, you can click the button to share the answer 
with some friends. So if you have like, I don't know, a Discord group or a Reddit group or just a community group that you're a part of, you can drop it in your group chat, uh, you know, and, and that way you can make your investing easier for you and all your friends. So, but the queries are safe for, for later use as well. We're going to take maybe one or two more questions and then I am going to pass the ball back over to John again, because um, I do know that based on the poll, it looks like a lot of people were interested in hearing about like the autonomous AI that we've built out. So we're very excited to talk about that here in just a second. Let's see. Someone says, uh, I've been trying, but I am limited to 15 questions a day. Yes, that is correct. So you get, uh, one, or you get 15 free questions per day. 15 for free. For most people, that's all they're going to need is, is, is 15. Most people will ask it anywhere from like five to 10 questions a day. We've already done analytics on it. That's what most people will do. If you need to ask it more than 15 questions a day, it is a very, very low $29.99 a month. And then you can ask it an unlimited number of questions all month long, only 29 bucks a month right? Which is absolutely worth it. This is the trade that I got from asking it one question, 29 bucks a month is nothing, right? So uh, you can either do the free plan or you can just upgrade it to the simple plan, but that will be available as well. That's cool having Forex. Yeah, having Forex, obviously, when we expand from all these different data parameters, as we grow from 50 million to hopefully 150 million and 1.5 billion, that means that we're adding on new categories and parameters. So Forex, cryptocurrency, futures, the Hong Kong stock market, the London stock market, the uh, Tokyo stock market, all of these different types of markets going just bigger and bigger and bigger, basically. What is the website and password? Yes, we will be dropping the link where everyone will be able to sign up for Trade GPT right here, right now, today. So make sure you stick around. We'll drop it here in the next maybe like five to seven minutes. I see that Shiva's asking. It looks like Jason's asking. Lots of people are asking, which is awesome. Um, and then someone says, can we modify and enhance save searches? Yeah, yeah, you could do that as well, Lee. So for example, I'm on a, I'm on a new prompt right now. However, if I wanted to, oh, you know, I, I remember I asked it a question the other day about, uh, let's see, how would you trade an iron condor? I, I wanted to, you know, just learn about iron condor trading. I can go back in and I can continue asking it questions in the same thread. So yeah, there, there's a benefit to that as well. 